Happy Monday. So today we have a nice surprise for you. Remember maybe a couple of months ago you started something, you started a fundraiser across the school in a very calm voice call out. What kind of fundraiser were you doing? Were you were all bringing in some coins? Just call it out. Yeah, so today we have a surprise for you. We are going to introduce Newton, our chameleon. And as we do, we've got our kids that started this with you. These are the kids that started the research on the chameleon, so they're going to teach you some more facts. And I will go get Newton. Boys and girls, they're not going to start till it's quiet. And when Newton comes out, he's a very sensitive creature, so he needs it really quiet so he doesn't get afraid. There are some things a nosy bee chameleon should have in their diet. They should have mostly roaches, but for a treat, they could have they could have crickets, superworms, or also waxworms. Hi, my name is Misty. Today I'm going to show how the fun you can change its color. So when it is getting touched, it turns more darker. It is more often that it turns blue. And it is also all the time green. Like you shined it. Now I'm going to show the food. Please do not be disgusted, but it eats roaches. It sticks out its tongue 20 centimeters and estimate it. Then it eats the cockroach. Okay, let me give the mic to him. Hi, my name is Zane. I'm going to be sharing about the chameleon's body parts. Eyes. Chameleons can turn more than one direction at once. Chameleons have one eyelid on each side. Tongue. Chameleon's tongue are sticky. It's for catching insects. Their tongue can be 1.5 to 2 times longer than their body, excluding tail. It can chew its tongue out. Tail. Chameleons have a powerful tail that can grip onto branches. Feet. Chameleons grip on branches and on strong. Chameleons need mist that gets filled two to three times a day with warm spring water and the water is lots of climbing areas and the fake leaves and vines. So I'm going to have Ishan tell you a little bit about how you pick up Newton. To pick up, to pick up Newton, you technically have to slide your hand under his legs and just let it crawl on you. And it's mostly better if you have a jacket on because it has something to grip onto. But like Miss Kamstra has, like you see how it's gripping onto her hand when she's gently laying it down on her. So Hazel's going to tell us why we can't reach for him from his back. Newton has an expandable rib cage that's really sensitive. You can't ever reach like this on a chameleon. Okay, let's get him over to the She's demonstrating how to spray his leaves.
Newton sheds his skin. Right now, Newton is sh almost shedding his skin. So Newton is a little grumpy these days because on Halloween he started shedding his skin. He's also a tiny bit of a dark color because he's not so happy right now. He's had a lot of change. Chameleons are really sensitive to change. So we're not going to be able to hold him for a while. I'm going to be putting him back in his cage soon until he really adjusts to changing his environment. Some animals can change envi environments and they're, they're okay. Chameleons are pretty sensitive. He also, since he's shedding his skin, he hasn't eaten in a few days. He's a tiny bit skinny. So as he starts feeling better and getting used to being here at Central Park, you'll see him getting a little brighter and more colorful. They also don't change their skin to camouflage themselves. They, they change their color based on their mood. So he's a little dark right now because he's just a little bit uncomfortable. This is kind of a new surprise for him. All right, so do we teach everything we know so far? All right, so in, um, in a couple of weeks, we're going to have a reptile expert come back when Newton's feeling a little better, and he's going to teach us some more um, deeper facts about Newton and how to take care of him. All right, so we're going to put him back. He's going to live up in the office for now. We'll be able to let you guys see him again when he's feeling better. All right, so look to your teachers and have a great day.